do you think of a time when worrying about something helped you solve a problem? No, nor me. But this weekend, I've had one of those weekends where I decided for some reason or other to let my worrying overtake everything. And that's what I talk about today, really. I've had a few health problems. I've just come back from the doctors. I've had blood tests and things because I have high blood pressure and with only one kidney, it's important that we keep a check on everything. And so I've been there this morning and I've come back and decided that this video is one that I wanted to make because last weekend with bits and pieces like that going on, I've been a bit worried about my health for no reason though, because we've been there before. And also I made a mistake this weekend of looking at my data for this channel. A stupid thing to do because I knew what it was going to say. The views are down the minutes are down on last month. It's happened pretty much through the summer, to be fair. And it's odd because subscriptions are rising. And I don't know why I worry about it, but I decided this weekend to choose to. And what I did, it got me to the stage where I even wrote a community post, which I've deleted now, so don't worry about that, saying that, if things carry on the way they are, I'm going to have to change my subject content for the channel and talk about something else because if people aren't watching three videos a week, aren't worth doing. And I was all on my little high horse. And <laughs> but um, nah, that's not going to happen. We're going to carry on as we are. And I don't know why it's become so important to me because when I started the channel, it was for me to share stories and experiences with my two sons. And then all of a sudden, 18 months down the road, I suppose, we're 4,200 and so many subscribers. It's amazing. I didn't expect to get that money. But what it got me doing, it got me worrying. And I couldn't come up with a solution for worrying. So I gave myself a little time limit. And at the end of that time, I decided that's it. No more worrying about things. If you have a way in which you can overcome your worrying, can you put it in a comment down below? Because I'd love to see what other people do. That's my favourite one, is to make a time. So you're allowed to self-flagellate yourself, beat yourself up till two o'clock. And then you've got to stop. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that I do. But, um, yeah, it's been a weird, a weird, weird weekend. But it did help me in a way. Because when I realised that I was worrying over it, it got me to thinking, I'm 64 now. Debs is going to be 62 next week. And we're on our way, if you like, to retirement. Retirement in this money, when you get a pension, is a third less than what you're living on now. So if we got to that stage, then we'd have to leave this house, find somewhere else to live, because we don't own this, we rent it. And we'd have to get smaller. So I did think to myself over the weekend, what if we could build this channel and make it bigger so that we could replace Deb's income with the money from YouTube, she could stop having to work. And that would be great because we'd have that extra money coming in. So when we retired, we could sort of carry on living at the standard we're living, I suppose. And that's what I was thinking about. And that can only happen if a few things happen. Well, obviously I need more watch hours and more people looking at the videos. But the way in which you can help if you'd like to, and it's not even going to cost you any money, that's even better, isn't it? All you've got to do is, if you see a video and you like it, click that like button. If you think a video is worth sharing with one of your friends, share it. If you have a comment to make on 
any of the videos, leave it down below. And if you've watched a few of my videos and you're not sick of me yet, just consider subscribing as well. Because apparently all those things help the algorithm spread my video to other people. And I haven't a clue how it does it. I'm not techy at all. But apparently that's what helps. So that would be pretty cool. That'd be nice. And what would be nice about it is that not just the money down the road, but it's great. The comments that I get, it's the most gratifying part of doing all this is when I see comments that say that something I've said has helped them. It's a wonderful thing, you know, because I'm nobody special. I'm just your average guy in the street. I'm not a psychoanalyst or a psychologist or a psychiatrist or any kind of psycho person, especially that kind. Um, and to think that something that I've said has impacted on someone is a wonderful feeling for me, but it's really humbling as well to be able to, to make an impact on somebody is such a cool thing. And it's a nice thing to feel that you're contributing to somebody in some way. And I really like that. So yeah, it's a, it's been a funny day today. I, I had to go to the doctors, get that out of the way. I thought I'd do this video. I tried to do this video in the car outside the doctor's surgery, but it's half term here and all the kids are off. Those kids playing footballs and all sorts around me and it was really noisy, so I never got to do it. So I came home and did it here instead. But um, the whole point of this video is stop worrying too much. Because when you worry, it pulls you down. 90% of what you worry about never actually happens. And it worrying never solves your problem. It just makes it feel bigger. And the one thing I've learned in life is that as one door closes, another one opens. Things that I thought were the end of the world when I lost my business and my two children were small and we lost our home. That was the end of the world then. But I look back on it now and we overcame that. When my marriage broke up and I left and moved to where I am now, that seemed like the end of the world, leaving my kids behind, even though there were men at the time. But you've overcome that. With illness and things, we overcome the situations. I've lost people dear to me over the years. I've worried about that too, but you overcome that too. And I suppose this life, we're overcomers. We seem to just be able to push past it, onwards and upwards. And having a positive mindset really helps that. So if I've got anything I could say to you today, really is stop worrying too much. Whatever the problem is, you'll overcome it and you'll be able to look back and say, hmm, I've overcome that too. You're much better than you think you are. And on that note, if you click up there, there's a video there talking about the choices you make on your journey going forwards. I'll see you next time.